Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and I wanted to talk about a subject that has come up again lately in the gaming community because Call of Duty is kind of back in, as you can see here. I've got a bunch of Call of Duty stuff wearing a Call of Duty hat. I'm a, I'll admit, I'm a fan of Call of Duty as a series as a whole. There's some crappier games, but I own most of the games. I own Modern Warfare 1, 2, Black Ops 2 on Steam, and I own all these fine games, of course including the new Modern Warfare on PS4. Good series. It's a good series, guys. But one problem that happens to plague the Call of Duty games is camping. Because we know how annoying camping is. You know, you run into a building or you run around a corner and boom, you're dead. And you don't even realize what happened. And you have to wait for the kill cam and you're like, oh, there's a guy hidden there. Or, you know, some other kind of bull crap like that. Camping is very annoying and... We hate it, right? But when is it camping and when is it not camping? Because there is a total difference. Some people think that holding objectives and taking defensive positions is camping. That's not necessarily the case. For example, a sniper finding a good spot up on the roof. Is that really camping? Because they're actually using the map. They are technically an open target. So if a player is looking in their direction, they can find them. And they're just using the map to their advantage. So that's completely different. Same when you play objectives, of course, like Domination, because, face it, you have to camp, technically, in the loosest sense. You have to hold that objective in order to win at that mode. And same with other similar modes, of course, like Headquarters and so on. So, camping isn't always camping, at least in the context that people like to label it. But it can be annoying at the same time. Somebody that just hides in the corner of a room with a shotgun, probably camping. Now, at that same time, if they hear footsteps and they're wanting to set up an ambush, is it really camping then? Now, there's a different context entirely for that. If somebody's just sitting there for, like, several minutes, possibly, just shooting everybody that comes through and setting up traps, that's kind of camping. But if you're just kind of temporarily taking that position... You set up an ambush for them, and you give them a situation that they're more than bargaining for. That's not really camping. That's taking advantage of the situation. That is holding the position. That is playing strategically. So, it gets kind of annoying when I see people complain about camping, because it's not always camping. You know, what prompted this was IGN recently did a new video showing off the new gameplay for the crash map that came out, the new update that I'm waiting for to update right now, PlayStation. Hello, update it, please. But uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, anyways, you know, that mode looks really good, of course. And, you know, the IGN player, of course, was doing pretty good at it. But a lot of people were saying that they were camping because they were on top of this building, they were shooting people from all directions and so on. But they weren't really camping because they actually moved around a fair bit. They looked through different windows. You know, they held the position. They didn't just try to hold a solitary spot with no other entry into the building where they are completely, un you know, they're not exposed at all. So, you know, it's basically a trap for a player. Unless a player just decides to randomly, for no reason, throw a grenade or a flashbang. You know, that player's probably going to die as soon as they enter. Most likely. Unless the camper is just a really bad aim, I guess. Uh, or just has terrible reaction timing. But, not always camping, guys. But, sometimes it is at the same time. And it is worth calling out when it is. So, is it easy to tell the difference? Or are you still confused? Let me know in the comments below. But till then, Dow Phoenix out.